Thank you. The barriers to better life are many and varied. There is, of course, fear. That's a big barrier, indeed. And along with fear goes caution. Proper caution is wise and prudent, but don't be too cautious. The fearful, the timorous, the extra cautious never surmount the barriers beyond which lie the really wonderful values of this world. Too much caution is actually bad for you. At our farm one day, an oil truck came to make a delivery. But presently, I noticed that the driver didn't get out of the cab. So I walked over and asked, what's the matter? Nervously, the man answered, uh, look at that dog. Now, we have a big dog of no recognizable breed, just a plain dog who has an enormous bark and a mean look to go with it. But actually, he's a fake. Mean look and bark are all he's got. Why, that dog wouldn't hurt a fly, I said. I'm not interested in flies, the man retorted. I'm interested only in not being bitten. I turned to the dog. Go away, Petey, I commanded. Go away. But to my surprise and embarrassment, he came at me instead with a mouthful of barks. I almost jumped aboard the truck myself. Petey knew he had this delivery man buffaloed, and he was going to see if he could scare me, too. As long as you're afraid of this dog, I told the man, he knows it and is determined to keep you sitting right there in that cab. Well, finally, my assurances prevailed. The cautious fellow climbed out. Together, we walked straight toward the dog. When Petey saw he wasn't scaring anybody, he retreated, and fast. Well, it's no news that an animal, sensing your fear, will often do its best to intimidate you all the more. The longer you permit yourself to be cowed by anything, the more scared of it you become. More about this in a moment. A person who has been in an automobile accident is likely to feel shaky the next time he rides in a car, but the sooner he does so, the better. If he puts it off, he may develop a fear of cars that can develop into a phobia against all modes of travel. Fear sometimes increases with the passage of time and also undergoes generalization. That is, it spreads from the original threat to other areas. By avoiding things you fear, you may let yourself in for unhappy consequences. It's usually wiser to stand up to a frightening experience. Meet it head on, risking bruises or hard knocks. You're likely to find that it's not as tough as you'd anticipated. Or maybe you will find it plenty tough. But also discover that you have what it takes to handle it and thereby become a stronger person.